My name is Candace Cottle and I am a lesbian. I came out when I was 14 years old and the first people I decided to tell were my parents and my sister because above anyone else, they're the people I'm closest to and it's their opinion that matters to me the most. And in the beginning, it was, it was definitely rough for us. It wasn't because they thought I was perverted or they thought I was confused. It's that they were afraid that the world was gonna throw a lot of hate at me and they were concerned for my safety. When I was in high school, I had my locker punched in to the point where I couldn't even get it open anymore and somebody had carved, not just written on there, but carved in dyke. That sucked alone, but uh, there was another time that I was leaving school and there was this group of guys in a truck and they saw me coming and they started yelling out dyke and faggot. They started to follow me home and it scared me. It really scared me. I remember running into the nursery and sitting there from like 20, 30 minutes and just hoping that they had just left. And after a while, I sprinted home and ran inside and locked the doors and my parents got home and I was sitting there freaked out. And I remember my mom just hugging me and saying that this is what she was always afraid of, that someone was gonna do this to me. And what really helped me get through that was knowing that my parents really did love me. I walked out of the house the next day with my head held high. I could have just run right back into the closet been like, never mind, just kidding, I'm actually straight. But I wasn't gonna let this fear dictate who I was. I think that if I didn't have the support and love from my friends and family, getting through that would have been a lot more difficult. Towards the end of my high school years, my mom was out in public and someone was harassing a gay man and she turned around and defended him. When she got home, she ran up the stairs just to tell me that she had done this and that she was so proud to have a gay daughter. She made me feel so loved and I, <laughs> that was my P-flag moment <laughs> with my mom. June 12th of 2016, when that tragedy took place at Pulse. The LBGTQ community, instead of running in fear and canceling pride, they went out with their heads held high in memory of these people. And it wasn't just this one community, it was the entire world. And seeing how much love was being poured out really inspired me and touched my heart. It made me realize for every one person that spews hate at you, there's gonna be a hundred more that's gonna give love to you. Don't be afraid, things really do get better. I know right now the way this country is going, it's so scary, but just don't ever, ever feel alone. Don't ever feel unloved. Don't ever feel unwanted. There are so many places you can go to. You can even send me a message if you feel like you don't have anyone. I will be there to talk you through it. I've gone through those struggles. I've overcome hurdles and I'm here for you. Just don't ever feel alone. Be proud of who you are. Don't ever let dictate you and do not ever stop fighting for your rights.